There is no I in team. Unless you count it in between the a-hole. But there is a laughter in slaughter. <laughs> Welcome to the horror show To realize every soul is wrong Don't know who came to try There are lies that you lie Welcome to the horror show To realize every soul is wrong Don't know who came to try Obsession is holy on my Slaughterhouse. Just to let you guys know, there's a site called VHSPS, the VHS Preservation Society, and they release all sorts of classics from VHS transfers to DVD. They're about 10 bucks each, and I got a whole bunch at Rock and Shock, and the first one I'm reviewing for you guys today is, in fact, Slaughter. Now, a lot of people consider Slaughterhouse to be a ripoff of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but that is totally not true. In fact, besides a few skeletal animals, Slaughterhouse is about the farthest thing you can get from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and that's why I love it. The plot for this film follows a group of friends who are trying to make a horror movie, so they go to a Slaughterhouse to shoot their dream film. There, they run into a 350-pound killer named Buddy, who makes pig squealing noises as a way to speak. But, now that I think about it, that is actually more of the background plot, because the main plot follows three so-called conspirators who are trying to shut down the slaughterhouse, and Buddy and his father are out to try to kill them. And how are they gonna go about doing that? Simple, just call them over. Hey, you wanna get killed? I mean, you wanna have a meeting? Okay... <laughs> See you at three. Hey, Barb, let my clients know I'm gonna be somewhere at three. Gonna have a meeting, then get killed. Whoa, I see what you did there. Now, as you probably could have guessed by now, Slaughterhouse is cheesy, but it is that charming 80s kind of cheese that really works well for the film. The acting, surprisingly, isn't that bad at all. And there's lots of good gore effects and creed of kills. Hell, I even like the 80s score, soundtrack, and montages. There's two, man, two montages for the price of one. And by the end, when things needed to get creepy, it got creepy. And one last thing, Buddy makes an awesome killer. So overall, I give Slaughterhouse a four out of five. I am Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Movie Reviews. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below, and to leave comments and subscribe!